Hey everybody, it's Jamie from No Getting Off This Train, and in today's video I'm showing you my grocery haul, as well as one tip that you can use during National Stress Awareness Month. I usually like to look up the holidays like the month before, just to see like what's going on in the next month. And I found out that April is National Stress Awareness Month. And as somebody who works in a wellness clinic as well, like this is perfect. I am sharing tips with my email list and here on YouTube on just how to reduce stress um, for both meal planning and food related things during this month. The first thing I shared was make one breakfast to last you the entire week. I mean, some of us tend to wake up really early and go to work early, so we may not have the brain power to cook a breakfast every single morning. Or maybe you have a lot of kids and you focus so much on them, you just don't have time in the mornings to put something together. So if you can set aside like 30 or 60 minutes on a Sunday afternoon and make enough breakfast for the week, maybe it's something as simple as making a batch of pancakes or making a baked oatmeal or muffins or something. Just do one thing and that's going to help you so much in the mornings when it comes to eating breakfast. I've been making something every Sunday for the past few years now and it has really helped because John leaves for work at 5 30 every morning so for him to be able to just pull something out of the fridge and heat it up real quick it really makes his mornings a lot easier. Last week's grocery haul was kind of low. It was definitely low on the budget. Um, earlier this week, I went to Mr. Max Grocery Outlet, which took up some more of our grocery budget. And then I also went to Sam's Club, which I had said last week was part of just a monthly budget that we set aside that's not part of groceries. So I have both of those in today's video, as well as Aldi and Meyer, which we visited as well. So let's get into the haul now, and I'll show you what I bought. So here's my monthly Sam's Club haul. Now I've said this before, but I typically set aside $100 every month now just for random Sam's Club stuff. Things that we need like paper products, snacks, soap, that sort of thing. So this month we ended up getting some trash bags. Um, we usually get our trash bags here. And listen, this is like our vice right here. These Lifesavers mints. For whatever reason, Sam's Club rarely has these guys in stock, and I don't know what the issue is with this particular, like the wintergreen flavor. They just never have them. So finally, they got them in, and we we like having at least one every day. And then snacks for Allison. She chose a big box of these, the veggie puffs. As you can see, she's already gotten into it, but there's sour cream and onion, there's white cheddar, and then there's barbecue as well. And then we usually just buy the big refills of hand soap, so we got that. And then another snack for Allison. She was really, really wanting some ruffles, cheddar, and sour cream, so we got a bag of those. And then back here we have some tissues. And the last couple of things, we needed some more allergy medicine, so I got a container of that. And then lastly, I wanted some kind of protein bars. I like the Nature Valley. So this has 30 of them in here. And this is the peanut butter and dark chocolate. I didn't need a ton for my grocery outlet today, but I did find a really, uh, some really good deals on meat, which is awesome. So I got a big package of Jenny O ground turkey. This is the 93% lean. There's two packages in here and each one is two and a half pounds. So five pounds for $7, that's amazing. And then I got some Ginny O seasoned turkey patties. They were $1.75 and they seemed pretty good. So those are all going back in the freezer. And then snack bars, I got a box of flour bars. There's 20 in here, 10 are chocolate chip cookie dough and the others are the peanut butter chocolate chip. And then Lastly, they had these Nature's Bakery Fig Bars, which are some of my favorites, and they only had one box, and it was raspberry, so I just got one for us to enjoy. Aldi and Meyer were the majority of my shopping this weekend. So starting over this way at Aldi, I have two bunches of bananas here for breakfast and snacks. We were running low on brown sugar, so I got a bag of that. 
I also got two dozen eggs. They're finally somewhat cheap now, so I can buy multiple. And some applesauce. I usually use this in baking and I was running low. Then a bag of veggie straws, just for snacking. I also got some Lunchables for Allison, just one of these ham and cheese ones. And back here, I've got some biscuits to use with a dinner. And I got some cottage cheese for me. Some baby carrots, I will be roasting those as a side item. Then some soft taco size tortillas, that's going in a breakfast burrito. Then I bought two bags of string cheese. Some of this I'm taking to church with me. And then I got some Dijon mustard. We were running low on that. And strawberries for Allison and her lunches. Then a gallon of milk. Back here, I bought a bag of frozen shredded hash browns. I'm using some of this in breakfast burritos. Then I got one box of these peanut, dark chocolate, and almond protein bars, and a package of Danimal's strawberry smoothies for Allison, and one more of these uh, nacho Lunchables for her. Then a package of turkey breast for sandwiches. To go with that, I got some shredded pepper jack cheese, and then a loaf of Italian bread to bring it all together and a box of baking soda. I was just about out. And then frozen vegetables. I got three bags of frozen broccoli and three bags of green beans. And then Meyer. I really didn't need a whole lot, but they had things that Aldi did not. So Allison has been requesting popcorn shrimp for dinner. So I got a box of that. So we'll enjoy that this week and a bag of shredded carrots. I am making some carrot cake muffins and that's going in it. And then lastly, I needed some more vinegar, so I got a big bottle. My total for groceries this week was $93.51. And just like last week, I'm focusing a lot on recording recipes and taking photos of them for blog posts and videos. So one of the things I am making is a chicken, broccoli, and potato casserole. I have some chicken in the freezer that I had bought last week, so I'm using up a lot of that. Also shown right here is a few ingredients that I bought for like three or four different recipes for a blog post and video. A lot of it has to do with meatballs and just different ways that you can use up frozen meatballs. One of the things I'm making is cranberry meatballs, which now that I'm thinking about it, I forgot to buy cranberry sauce. So the next time I'm at the store, I'm going to have to go buy a can of it. But that's going to be served with like mashed potatoes and I think roasted carrots as well. I'm also making marinara meatball subs. So it's going to have spaghetti sauce and the provolone cheese and the sub rolls to go with it. And then I have some frozen vegetables we can have as a side item. I am also making meatball calzones. And calzone is basically like a pizza just wrapped up in a pocket sort of thing. So I've got the meatballs, some more spaghetti sauce. I have some mozzarella cheese already. So I'm just going to take the pizza dough that I bought and then kind of cut it into pieces roll up um, the meatballs and stuff inside, and then we'll bake them in the oven. The last meatball recipe I'm making is called meatball bombs. Using some canned biscuits, you kind of roll them out, put a meatball and a couple things in it, and then you kind of fold the biscuit on top of the meatball, and then you bake it in the oven. It's supposed to be really, really good, so we'll have to see. And then lastly, for breakfast, I am making burritos. So I've got eggs, I have those frozen hash browns, I also have some turkey turkey bacon in the freezer that I bought probably a couple weeks ago. I'm going to get that out and cook it as well. And then I have some shredded cheddar cheese that I can put in there. So kind of going back to the stress awareness month, leave me a comment and tell me, do you typically prep like a breakfast for the week or do you prep any other kind of meal like lunch or dinner or something to help reduce stress and help you to actually eat healthier? As always, make sure you subscribe, like this video, and ring that bell so you'll be notified when all of my other videos come out. Thank you all so much for watching. I will see you later. Did you know I offer one-on-one -on -one nutrition coaching? Whether your goal is to lose weight, eat healthier, or just want to know how to get started, I can help. 
you can schedule a free weight loss discovery call by using the link in the description. Thanks for watching and I can't wait to chat with you.